so here's where I, I disagree with the directions in the book. It says uh, write in simplest form, but um, we're going to do it anyway. I think it's important to understand how these things can be manipulated, but I wouldn't necessarily call this simplest form. It's just, I suppose, write uh, with the smallest radical. That would be better instructions, but that's that's um, splitting hair. So that's, I'm going to rewrite this the way the book wants you to. That way you understand how to do uh, problems 21, 23, 25, and 27. So I'm looking at this, and I pull out my calculator, and I have 288 to the fifth root. So I'm in my head I'm thinking 288 to the one fifth. And if I do that, then what do I get? I get uh, 288 uh, exponent... I'm doing it right now on my calculator. 1 divided by 5 closes. I get like 3.13691114, blah, 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 blah. So that doesn't really help me out. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I think this is maybe the easiest way to do it, I'm just going to start breaking this down. I know, I like, I, I'm, without any direction, I'm just going to like, uh, what, is, what is a different way to write this? I know that 288 is... Uh, well, divisible by 2. So I know that's 144 times 2. I can't break that in, at, that down anymore, so I'll, I'll leave that alone. And then this one's 12 times 12. And this one is, well, I, I, I could keep going, right? Um, 6 times 2. Ooh, there's another 2. That's important. And then I get uh, 6 times 2 again. Now, this seems really tedious, but I think it's important to know that you can manipulate this stuff. Man, my nose is clogged. Uh, and then I can continue going. Uh, this would be 3 times 2 and 3 times 2. Now, why the heck did I do all of that? Well, um, how many 2s do I have? 1, I'm going to circle them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2s. So I can actually rewrite 288. I can rewrite that as 2 to the 5th. And then what else is left over? I can't write 6 because the 6 changed to a 3 and a 2. So it's actually 1, 2, and that's that's it. 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 5th. So I broke down 288 into that. So that, like, why is that important at all? Whoa, not 3 to the 5th, sorry. 3 to the 2nd, right? That's to the 2nd power. So this changed to that. Now, why, why is that important? I can't forget the 5 there. Well, if I now break up the radical, I can have 2 to the 5th underneath the 5th root times, 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 uh, you can hear that my nose is clogged. Sorry if that's annoying. Uh, it's definitely annoying. So, look at this. That cancels out, and I just have 2 on the outside, and this is, well, that doesn't cancel out. So I can have either times 3 to the 2 fifths, or I can just leave it as uh, the fifth root and a, nine, a 2 there, or I can change it into like 9. Mm -hmm. So like that. And that's how your book is going to have the answer. 2 times the fifth root of 9. So that's the idea about those ones. You... Um, you just break them down as much as you can now and then write them with the exponents. Uh, something to mention is I don't ever have to write down 144 because that changed to 12 and 12. But I also don't have to write down 12 or 12 because that changed to 6 and 2. Do you understand? Um, I mean I guess you can't answer me but I don't have to write down 6 because it changed to 3 and 2. I do have to consider the 3 and the 2 down here because they don't break down into anything else. Uh, so, and if you wanted to verify this, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 3, that should give you 288. You should try it in your calculator right now. I'm going to do another one of those.